So driving home on this rainy uh, afternoon in New York, and I was thinking about something that I had a conversation with one of my attendings about uh, yesterday, and we kind of got into the talk, and he asked that question. That one question that as a medical student, you are going to hear thousands of times for the rest of the time you're in medical school. And that question is, what do you want to do? What specialty do you want to get into? Now, that's a tough question, not an easy one to answer. Everyone has different opinions on how to answer it. Many will tell you, don't say, you know, if you're in pediatrics, you tell them you want to do pediatrics. If you're in surgery, you know, tell them you want to do surgery. And I'm here to say that I think that that's bunk. I think that we can dispel that myth right here. When a physician, when an attending, when a resident is asking you, what do you want to do? What specialty do you want to match in? That's code for what are you passionate about? What area in medicine do you find intriguing? What wakes you up? What makes you excited to become a physician? And if you can answer that question, I think you'd be much better off than just pandering by saying, oh, I want to do surgery when you're in your surgery rotation and telling your peds director, yeah, of course I want to do peds, I love it. When someone asks you that, um, what they're actually asking you is, what are you passionate about? What drives you? And that's a much tougher question than just spitting out the answer to, yeah, I, I wanna be a pediatric uh, surgeon, or I wanna be an orthopedic surgeon, or I wanna be a physiatrist, or whatever it is that you wanna do. That's a much harder question is to figure out, what is it that motivates me? What drives me? What am I passionate about? And so what we wanna do today is talk about some mistakes that student make, students make when trying to do this, and then also talk about some things that you can do that might be good solutions uh, for this problem. So the first thing is, um, when students are starting to think about what is it that I want to be, there's two big mistakes that I think I've seen that a lot of students make. The first one is that they wait way too long to make a decision as to what they're going to do. Um, they either keep putting it off, they say I have way too much time, they're like I'm going to focus on my step one, I'm not going to worry about that, I'll get to it, I'm going to get into a rotation and it's going to be magical and sparks are going to fly and I'm just going to know. That might be true for you, but for the most people it's not. And you have to you have to actually put in some work, you have to put in some effort, you have to think about these things. And so waiting and putting it off is a mistake that a lot of students make and I would advise against that. Now the flip side of that is the student who in the very beginning in their first day of classes comes out and says to everybody, hey what's going on, my name is John, I want to be an orthopedic surgeon, and then they don't consider anything else for the rest of the time that they're in medical school. And, and by having that kind of closed-mindedness to everything that medicine has to offer is not a good way to start your experience in medical school. And so I would say two things, two pieces of advice, don't make the mistake of deciding too early or deciding too late. Now on to some things that we think are some solutions. The first thing I will say that is uh, really valuable to me is invest some time into the specialties that you're considering. And what I mean by that is go and join associations, go and attend a conference, go and spend time with the doctors who are in that specialty, see what their life is like. Go to a conference and sit down with a uh, for me, it was I was sitting down with a physical medicine and rehab doc and talking to them and figuring out what they do on a day-to-day -day basis that really excited me. Uh, go to a conference, see some surgeons, go and talk to some pedi pediatricians. I, I mean, that's the only way that you're going to really be exposed to what a day-to-day -day life is like as, you know, whatever specialty you're looking into. So that's the first thing, invest time and invest time early. The second thing is stop letting other people or your board scores, or a potential salary dictate what specialty you're going to go into. There are so many people who I talk to who say, you know, I was thinking about going into family medicine, but you know, then I got my board score back and now I'm considering doing surgery or something like that because my board score was more competitive. How backwards is that to decide what specialty and what you're gonna do for the rest of your life based on a board score or based on what someone else said to you or based on what the salary is right now, because those salaries can change, they're dynamic, it's always evolving and changing. So that's the first thing that I'll say, is that don't let other people, salaries, or board scores influence your decision on what specialty you wanna do. The last thing that I'll say um, that you should keep in mind is 
don't be afraid to change your mind. It is perfectly acceptable for you to think you want to be a pediatrician and get into pediatrics and say, I don't like it. But what I do love is neurology. That is totally acceptable and that's what you should be doing as a medical student. That goes back to don't make your decision too early, right? So uh, those three things, invest time early, get involved as early as you can, uh, and, and really investigate each of the, the specialties. Number two, don't let other people and your board scores and salaries make your decision. And number three uh, is don't be afraid to change your mind. Okay? Be adaptable, evolve, grow, and, and as you're learning medicine, you should be learning about what you want to do for the rest of your life. And I think those things in combination will, the answer will become clear to you. You'll know what you're passionate about and it'll make you know the rest of uh, your decisions pretty easy from there on out. So hopefully you guys found this useful and you guys liked it. Please comment below. Let us know what specialties you're thinking about. Let us know how you decided on those specialties and what things helped you out. And attendings and residents, please comment below and let us know, you know what you guys did to make your decision and what things you found useful. So uh, we appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Be sure to like us, share this video with all of your friends who could find it useful. Uh, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because without those things, we're never going to grow. We're never going to get a bigger audience. And that's kind of you know what we're hoping for is a big audience so that we can have a great discussion about all these things and be a resource for medical students um, and for anybody out there who is looking for advice on how to find your passion in life. So thanks, guys. Stay tuned next week. Um, and uh, we appreciate all the feedback and everything so far. So we will talk to you again soon. Bye now.